Hello! Welcome back with our second data visualization piece. We were looking at birds in my backyard in the last video, and now we will look at some other data sets related to birds. So, I've got two data sets out here. One, the weights of chickens, depending on what type of feed they were given when they were chicks. And the second one is going to be about penguins. So let's go ahead and start a new notebook and get them loaded up. So again, we're going to say like, like even more birds. So we need to have matplotlib ready. We need to import pandas as pd and from plot 9 import everything. Great. So we're ready to go here. Let's use pandas. pd. Uh, yeah, let me get my data frame here. Read csv from chick weights. Read that in. Oh, sorry. Data, chick weights. Great. Here's my data. Oh, no. My data is not organized with commas. Somebody decided to use tabs instead. We can handle that by saying the separator needs to be a tab. And if we tell it exactly what the separator is going to be, then it knows how to split the data and put it together into our pieces. Okay, so here's our data frame. We are ready to go. This has 71 rows. And there are a number of different feed types here. We could say, what are those feed types? df feed dot unique. These are the different feed types in there. Horse bean, linseed, soybean, sunflower, meat meal, and casein. Let's try to draw a simple box plot. So gg plot. Here's my data frame. The aesthetics on the x-axis, I'm going to have the feed. And on the y-axis, I'm going to have the weight of the chicks. And I am going to put it together in a box plot. There we go. X, y-axis, show me a box plot. It does all of the different calculations for you and draws the outliers with dots, puts the mean with a nice dark bar in the middle with your 75% range and your standard deviations in there. So you can talk about those pieces that come together from a box plot using that simple command, loading it up in the right way. Okay, second data set we want to be looking at is the penguin data set. So, this one is from Palmer Penguins. And the Palmer Penguins data set collected by Allison Horst up here on GitHub that you can download. It was formatted and put together in really nice packages for R. And they were able to draw this graph of the flipper length and the build length separated out by species. This is going to be one of our goals. Can we get this graph to be drawn using the Python tools in Plot9 that we have. So there's all this information about the data. You can go get it here under data and data raw. I have it all loaded up and downloaded. So I should be able to say like penguin data frame equals pandas read CSV from data penguins raw dot csv. Load that up. Great. What's my penguin data frame look like? Well, we have a study, a sample, a species, a region, island, the stage, individual. Great. So much information about penguins and what they were doing. We notice there are some empty things. N-A-N. N-A-N. These are going to cause some problems for us here in a second. If we're trying to draw, say, a box plot and look at the different weight of the penguins, their body mass versus their sex, 
let's see what we get. So ggplot penguin data frame, my aesthetics, I'm going to do what I just did before, the x-axis is going to be the x and the y-axis is going to be, I've got to match it exactly here, body mass g. So let's copy that down. And we're going to add on a box plot. Great. If we do so, I was expecting a nice comparison, but there's things that just didn't get recorded. There's not a numbers. There's the mysterious dot for sex that people just put in. So this file is not clean. We need to do some cleaning before we do this. So let's add in another step here to say, wait a second. Penguin data frame, I need you to be equal to the penguin data frame, but drop the NAs whenever you are looking at the sex column. Don't drop them everywhere, but find the rows and get rid of them in when in the sex column there's an NA. And also, we want to be able to say, hey, penguin data frame, I want to only keep the rows that's what this is going to do for us with loc, that fit a certain pattern. Penguin data frame sex equals male. It's got to be capitalized like it is up here. And then I'm tempted here to say or, but what this really returns is a long sequence. Let's actually break this out just individually here. This, when I compare a row to a value, tells me a Boolean sequence of what indices it was actually true at, what indices it was false at. And I can't or that with something else. I have to do an, a bitwise or. And so I could do this bitwise or with female penguins. And now I get almost all true, except I can get rid of that one where it's a dot. So if I put this together, this becomes my selector. And I say, keep the rows where it's true. That's what this loc is going to do for us. Keep the rows where this is true. And now I have a cleaner data set. I can just compare the pieces I want between the male and the female sex for the body mass of these penguins. OK, that's the box plot I want. But my goal, again, is to draw something like this. I want to be comparing the flipper length and the bill length. And in the data set that I have, they're called flipper length millimeters and Coleman length millimeters. Coleman being the part of the penguin that they're measuring. I think there's a picture down here. Bill length is the Coleman length. So I want to compare bill length and flipper length. Let's draw, see if I can draw this picture here. Okay, so again, I want to go back to ggplot. Penguin data frame. My aesthetics, my x is going to be, uh, what's their plot? Flipper length. length, millimeters. And the y is going to be colon, is it a capital L? So I've got to be exactly perfect. Yes, it is, capital L in both of them. Great. Did I get it right? Yes. I have my axes drawn. And now let's add in a geometry point. 
I can put the dots on the screen. Great. This is good. I'm starting to see this picture come together. Okay. I can separate them by color. Species. And if I do that, now I'm starting to see my species on the right hand side here. I'm starting to see them get separated like that. Good. Okay. Last thing. These regression lines, where you're talking about the relationship between the two pieces. How could we make that work? We can do here in plot nine, I can draw a smooth line across each one. And this is the standard, it just does a smoothing across it and it has this window and it's, it's a little complicated I can make it simple here by saying the method I'm going to use is a linear model, LM. And if I put that in there, then it will draw my individual line, and it also draws in the confidence intervals for each one. So I've been able to get something that draws a linear model for each of the species, puts it together in a sensible way, using my tools here in Python.